You know, sometimes when you make GTA skip videos like me, you want to make a scene that portrays a huge battle. I really like the idea of stupid amounts of people or monsters on screen battling or otherwise charging and stuff, but in GTA 5, you can't really do that. Well, you sort of can, but, uh... Alright everyone, on my command, you shall run across the field. Go! Okay, so far so good, looking good. Yes, this will make for a fantastic video. Yes, everything's looking- Oh, god damn it. Yeah, GTA 5 isn't really that good when you want it to render and control more than like 50 people on screen. For this reason, you won't really see more than like 30 people walking around you at any one time when exploring the city of Los Santos, and trying to modify the game to make it show more than that will just make it crash. So if you're like me and you want to make a big battlefield with upwards of a thousand people on screen at once, you kind of need to resort to other methods such as clever compositing or CGI. In this case, I'm going to use Blender to make this little scene with all of the marines running across the airfield. Why? I don't know, it's fun and it's interesting, it's Blender, it's CGI, it's awesome. Alright, so the first thing we need to do is record a scene. Here's my scene. Second thing we need to do is we need to rip some models from the game. I'm going to use Ninja Ripper and I'm going to rip this here marine model along with a gun. Let's fix up the models and apply some textures and begin the rigging process. I kind of rushed this part, most of the characters aren't going to be very close to the screen anyway, so you won't really notice any jank. Yep, that looks pretty damn good to me. Time to animate. Usually I like to motion capture all of this stuff as seen in some of my other videos, but since my office isn't really big enough and I don't really have a treadmill to record running animations, I'll just animate it by hand, it shouldn't really take more than an hour's work. Sweet! I kind of like this. Let's duplicate the marine and make some slight variations on the animation so that my army doesn't look perfectly symmetrical. And now it's time to set up the scene. I need to set up the scene by first motion tracking the camera motion of the thing that I recorded earlier. It helps that this is a relatively smooth transition that takes place out at daytime. So I don't really need any tracking markers like what you would see behind the scenes of many of your big blockbusters or whatever. Mm -mm -mm. Yes, that is looking pretty good. Now onto the planning. I'm going to use some simple meshes to mark out the runway for reference down the line and also use it as a rudimentary shadow catcher. Next up I need to add a mesh that's been randomly shredded and use the vertices as a point to plant the soldiers. I'll make five of these arrays with 200 copies of each soldier and yep that's looking pretty good. Alright let's animate the array so that the soldiers appear to move in a straight line, that's looking pretty nice. Let's adjust some fine parameters and also make sure they don't clip through the tank on the screen. And... Nice, we're looking pretty damn good so far. I create the lighting by taking pictures of the environment using the Rockstar Editor. I take all the images that I took and use a program called Meshroom to generate a HDRI. A HDRI is basically a 360 degree image that Blender uses to create accurate lighting to cast onto the scene. The fine positioning of the HDRI isn't really that important, it doesn't have to be perfect, so long as the sky is up and the ground is down, it should look pretty good in a render, since you don't really see it. Let's adjust the sun's position and shadow casting properties so that it matches the environment of the video file and time to render. Well, what I'll actually do is I'll render the soldiers above a transparent plane. This way I can overlay it on top of the existing footage and then change a few compositing settings to make the final render. Oh yeah, this is looking pretty damn good. As a bonus, I decided to get like a close-up of the army using a camera pan and use the HDRI as a backdrop. Except maybe just make it less obviously low quality by adding screen shake, bloom and all that nerdy stuff. And yeah, it looks pretty good. Yeah, not bad for a few hours work I must say.